And welcome back to Minecraft episode 169. Oh yeah. Seemed like yesterday that we were only on episode 50, right? No, it wasn't yesterday. It was several months ago. What's this? Nothing, that's what. Okay, last episode we started our mining campaign after building more onto the uh, castle, and I said moron. That was funny. And we explored one arm of the three-way the three cave. So, the next arm is this one, and this looks like the big one. But we won't know. Oh, and we did gravel mining so that I'd have enough arrows for the job. But this cave could uh, could take us places, and it could take us nowhere. We're not going to find out till we dive in. And that's what we're doing now. The third arm is over that way. But this way looks like, uh, you know, better. By the way, I know I gravel mined a lot in the last episode, but I wanted in, uh, to even up my, my arrows. There we go. So I'll put the bench back down and get rid of these last three feathers. And that way, uh, all of the arrows that I need are in one place. Full stack plus one. Oh yeah. Alright. Do a little organization. I don't need the axe in here. I'm not even sure why I brought it. Must be a laziness thing. We're up to 19 iron already. That's great. And I've got plenty of resources uh, for uh, this dig. Plus I don't hear any mobs. And that's, that's kind of relieving. You can only take so much of that before you start to think, am I ever going to survive one episode without being killed in a mine? Well, the answer is maybe. It's always maybe. Because you really never know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. More cave. Yeah, this one might get us some Italian... Uh, what did I say it was? Lapis Lazulio is Italian for blue dye? Or black, black wool? Yeah. We're going to get us some Italian wool here. <laughs> Oh, interesting. This cave exits over here. Not one mob. In all this darkness. Huh. A few more pieces of sand to drop. Where did this end up? I figured that all of this sand was connected by the cave somehow. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the other way in. Good, that means we have an alternative escape route. Those are always nice to have. And we're going back down. That didn't really go anywhere. But it did yield iron. Which I will now collect. What's this? That must have fell from the ceiling. These gravel piles. Okay. There's some more. Oh, nice. Nice, we're getting a good haul. Good, good haul. What I'll probably do is uh, dig around in this cave a little bit, see what we find here, get some Italian wool, and maybe some diamond. I don't know how far down I'm going to go, but it looks like it, uh, it takes us places. This one doesn't, but this one does. So... After uh, about 10 minutes, I might resurface and, and do a deposit. Oh, hey, iron. Because if I don't, I, I just increase the risk of losing my things. If I wasn't so close to the, the origin or the new spawn... Oh, hey, pit. Yeah, this cave might give us some Italian wool. This will be our, our quest for this video. The quest for Italian wool... Oh, uh, boy. We should really be called mob wool. Because it's lapis lazulio, you know? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. That's a dangerous thing. I know it's nighttime, but... I think there's... Well, I don't know. You could probably see it in the video. I can't see it right now. It's too darn dark. And yes, I did increase my brightness. But what's down this way? Disappointment. Oh, 
Oh, see that? <laughs> Isolation. You gotta check, man. It doesn't always happen, but you gotta check. Because sometimes when these caves are big like this, they don't form right and they disconnect with a mere block length between them. So you gotta make sure. Alright, now that I know that this way is, is open, let's check out the other pit, because I'm pretty sure that one is a dud. Grab more iron. What are we up to? 30 of them now? 37. Excellent. Either 10 minutes or a stack. That's what I'll gauge it on. Because there's some right there. Might as well. You know what I'll do? I'll actually work my way down here with this. So I think by the time I get done with this cave, my, my pick will be dead. I'll have nothing left. I'll have to go back to iron. Of which I have plenty now. Because you know i got to build that mine cart through the mountain too. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff early. Well, it is almost half the season. Okay. So this, uh, this derails right here. And I'll place the torch up there for some ambient light. I haven't heard any mobs, man. I wonder what they're up to. Planning their ambush, most likely. Hmm. Get the coal, don't get the coal. Well, I have... Uh, well, the first thing I'll do is convert the rest of these into torches. Upside down, dummy. There you go. <sighs> I hate it when it does that. Well, you know what I'll do? There. Yeah, just for now. This pit still goes, and it looks like it does continue very far. Whoops. There. There's the bottom. Wow. Great find. Great, great find. You've seen me find areas like this before. Looks like there's a lava lake over there. That's a cool thing. Let's check it out. Uh-oh. Could be mobs above my head. I don't want that surprise. So I'm sitting on no armor and, and some health. I don't really have, you know, I'm about half. More coal over here. There's some iron. And wow, this is a pretty big arm. Does it stop? Yeah. Okay. So let's dig up the iron, as we like to do. Broke the rules again. Pretty sure I would be safe, and I was. And remember, the whole purpose of doing this... I don't really care if I get some Italian wool. I'm not worried about that. Mine force isn't going to be passive aggressive today. Oh gosh, it just keeps going. I like these caves though. I like it when they just go on and on and on and on. And when they're mob free. It's always a bonus. I do feel like I'm playing on peaceful, but I know I'm not. Because my health isn't regenerating. A nice iron deposit. Wow! We've, uh, we've discovered a lot of cave, man. Don't worry, I'm not going to get too lost. I'm just going to do a little more checking out. Okay. That dead ends. That's a good thing. If we don't want to go too far off the trail, or we'll lose our way. Oh, my gosh. Okay, nothing there. What about over here? Water! Okay, this is going to be uh, a reserve point. And what I mean by that is that I'm not going to explore any more of this area. I'm going to leave that go. What I am going to do is make... Uh, I'm going to make it obvious. And I do this a lot in single player. Wow, am I that close to the surface? Did I hear a chicken? Or is it just my ears? This also saves me from filling up with too much cobblestone. I, I decide to go one way and then not explore past a certain point. Save it for later. But I make I, a unique features in the cave so that I, I can run right back and there's no like alternative routes. Like this right here is a natural one, so that's good. It's just a straight shot. And then this here uh, also leads me in the right way. 
but I want to get rid of this here so it, it's a faster run because the quicker I can get through an area like that um, the easier it is to remember well that's right I never got this iron so we'll pick this up and this was nothing potentially so what I'll do is I'll wall this off is there more over there? no I'm just seeing things now now I'm paranoid because I'm waiting for the comments to roll out you didn't get that iron I know I'll get it later and then I never do so only once did I do that when I missed the coal in, in the in the season 8 but I got it back so yeah so there's no way I could confuse the direction I have to travel there's also when I do this I can run backwards and see all the iron that I missed because this is where we wanted to be. I wanted to see if there was lava over here. Because it might be a lake. And... Oh, it's a lighting bug. I see. That actually is was darkness. Okay. Oh, lighting bugs. Whoa. Well, this cave is nice and connected now, isn't it? But I bet this is a, a dead end. Yeah, this is just a little little nonsense room good for setting up a chest though I tell you that much let's think about this oh my <laughs> wow didn't see that one coming and I was just about I was thinking in my head I wonder where the mobs are but I didn't even get a chance to say the words and I got fired at but I get to fire back because I mind force. That's the way. Oh, yeah. Well, do you see what I'm saying now? This little room that had no significance whatsoever, found completely by accident, ended up yielding this big space. And it keeps going. This is actually a pit right here. It's it's on an angle, but it's it is. So what I'll do is I'll dig a ledge over here, and then I'm more even with the wall, and I can uh, you know make my entrance much more uh, rico suave. That's a big one. Wow. I find me some serious cave. I figured there was going to be some near where I was. But this one is, is nice. Three-way cave is turning into a gigamine. Oh, that's the end of that. Oh, there's a nice little corridor here. And we go full circle. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm on the other side of it now. Interesting. But this actually leads nowhere. What about over here? Yeah, I thought this does, does go somewhere. This is a nice cave. It keeps giving me more. So, next step is to dig out the urn. And it has been that 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm up to over a stack of iron. So, it is probably a smart idea. If I make a pit stop and deposit my things. And I, I have a feeling that most of you by this point are probably saying, uh, yeah, yeah, you should. We, we've had it all about all we can take of your deaths. <clears throat> so, that's what I'll do. Whoops. I went the wrong way. I meant to go this way. That's the way. Good deal. Am I still ascending the pit? I sure am. Uh, what happened though? I screwed up. That's, that's it. No. See, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't wall that off because I wanted the coal yet, but... And I get lost and confused. No. And... This is not the way. I know it's above my head. But, oh yeah, over here, you gotta go this direction. Ah, the entrance. 
I should really clean that entrance up better so that I, I, I don't get lost. So let's run back and drop this stuff off. This is the first time uh, in all of the time I've played Minecraft that I have actually done this. I just want you guys to know that right now. I do not deposit. And the reason I don't deposit is not because I'm stubborn or lazy. It's because when I get into the cave, nice, and I start digging, I lose track of what's happening. I get so immersed in the gameplay that I don't take the time to preserve my things. And we all know that can backfire on you. But, it, honestly, admit to yourself, you've done it too. You've sat there and gone on amazing mining campaigns, and the next thing you know, it's all gone in an instant, because you were too far from where you spawned, or you didn't bother to make a deposit like this, and then you lose, and, and you don't feel like playing so much. But, I am making those uh, uh, amendments, and while I'm here... Let us re-up on the wood. Good idea, Sorv. That way... Oh, there's more torches. That way I, I don't, don't screw myself later on. You can see it coming, right? So this pit stop is successful. And because we have done so, we have saved several items that would have otherwise been lost to some heinous death that I have yet to die. And I get to put my uh, axe away. And then the cobbly stone will go over here. I'll start that collection down here next to the netherrack. Uh, and the dirt. And the glass, I actually want to uh, do that right now while I'm pit stopping. I'll, I'll finish this part with the glass. I don't think it's enough. But it'll do. Maybe, it yeah, it'll be enough. How do you like them apples? Apples. Still don't see any apples, Notch. You know, I've been playing this game for half a year. Still no apples. I can hack them in, sure. I never found one. Do they even exist? Question of the day. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be that cheap. But I'm still thinking about a QOTD. I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, but this is it. Watching me play Minecraft. Oh yeah, I never know what's going to happen next. <sighs> but like I said, we've got some we've got some goals running. Got some good, uh, good times to be had. The current, uh, situations are... I have... not explored much the direction of my pointer. I have a castle that's being worked on. I have a cave that's being worked on. And... What else, what else? Got the cave, the castle, the landscape exploration. Uh, let's see here. We've messed with some of the new content, but not really. You know, it's it's. Uh, I I honestly don't use much of that. Things that I want for the game might not ever exist. I don't know. But things that we do have, the notch has given to us are are good you know they're fun but minecraft could be more fun if if it was you know easier to manage like servers and stuff that's all i'm saying we had admin tools minecraft would be even more fun it's multiplayer is where it's at i mean multiplayer don't get me wrong that is actually really hard to code but uh... little updates like this especially for notch and gens no big deal. Especially when you add stuff like Italian wool to the game. <laughs> okay. Now, this over here, I was here. I saw that earlier. So, that's okay. 
Whoa. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. We got a creeper army coming at us. I hope there's nothing behind me. All that gravel mining paid off, man. Let me tell you. Is there another one? Finally, I survived a creeper attack. Oh, and here's a fourth one. That does not make me happy. Creepers uh, used to not always explode when you approached them or hit them, but now they actually get pissed off. If you strike them with your sword or an arrow, they'd automatically send them into a frenzy. And that sucks. Because I kind of relied on the creepers' uh, passive aggressiveness, which is actually more aggressive than passive, but you know what I mean. I kind of relied on that for my, you know, safety. Can't do it anymore. Hmm. What's down there? Probably nothing. But I will. I will check it after I dig this up. Oh, yeah. I'm leaving the coal. I'll go on a coal mine later. I just don't feel like it right now. And nothing. Then I can see. Doesn't mean I can't uncover a, a new cave accidentally. But iron takes priority. Even if I go past it a little bit, sometimes I forget to go back because I go so far off on a tangent that I can't remember why I was there in the first place. But, this episode is over. Uh, if people have... I know I mentioned in the last episode, or two episodes ago, how I would go longer than, than 20 minutes or go as long as you want and all that stuff. And, and I, I did mean that, but I, I pre-recorded some of these and I haven't gotten those comments yet. But that's why they're, these are not even in length. They're at least 20 minutes. Except for the last one. And the one before that. But, yeah. They're at least 20 minutes, and I, I want to give you at least that. Alright, dead end, iron, and then I'm going to cut it off, and we'll go with 170. Ooh, that's a pretty big vein. Alright, see you in the next episode.